What is going on, everybody? You guys know him? Who's that? That is Fire Pond Guy. We are back in Nebraska hitting up. This isn't, I wouldn't even consider this quite a pond. This is like a between a pond and a lake. What's the, you guys need to come up with a name for that because that's what this is. This is like a small lake, large pond. I've got the old, uh, the old Dink Master. I don't know what I named that thing. I already forgot, but I've got that with me. And this boat ramp is looking a little, uh, a little interesting. That's what we have to deal with. I, uh, like a foot and a half rut drop off into straight mud. So I, I'm pretty confident we can get the boat in the water, getting it back out. That's a different story, but at least hopefully we'll go catch a bunch of fish before that, and then we can always figure that out later. We're going to be, what do, you, what do you think, frogging, punching, deep cranking, chatterbaiting, swimbaiting? A little bit of everything. What am I missing? Anything? Big worms. Big worms. A little bit of everything. There's a bunch of reeds. This whole pond's filled with reeds. So my goal today is to catch a punch fish with the new flipping stick. I haven't, I haven't caught a punch fish yet. I've caught frog and fish and flipping fish. No punch fish yet. All right, let's, uh, let's go catch some fish. You're good. Go, go really slow right now. You're about to go down that little dip. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, you're good. Straight back now. That's good. Okay, maybe not. Hold on. We did it, folks. We got it on. Like I said, getting it off, probably not gonna happen. Or getting it back on, it's probably not gonna happen. But we got it into the water, which is really all that matters right now. And we got Josie. Josie's here. He's gonna be taking his boat out. This should be uh, this should be fun. Alec and I are out on the water. I'm gonna start out with the old classic chatterbait. We're going to that spot. It's the only spot on the lake or the pond that has rocks. Sometimes it's a good spot to start, but I'm gonna Toss the old chatterbait out there and do a little trolling uh, as we get to the juice. But like I said, my goal today is I want to catch a punch fish. Have not done that yet this year, so that would be exciting stuff. All right, I'll try the chatterbait again. You got one? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Right as I said, I'm picking up the chatterbait. Guess what he does? Whips out the old chatter. There you go. First one. Not exactly the size we're looking for, but... A little little bluegill chatterbait action starting off the day that's what we're talking about folks that's what we came here for we need we need size of bass that will eat that one though we're here for five plus pounders what's the biggest one you've caught out of here me five yeah. and a half five and a half yeah so we're searching the biggest one out here is apparently seven and a half seven and a half hmm maybe i'll break my pb today there's one right at the boat that's a good one. Oh, maybe not <laughs> Dude, that dude, he nailed it right at the boat. I thought I had a giant on. Wasn't even hooked in the mouth. Hooked him right on the top of the uh, top of the head. Well, that's first fish for me. Not quite the size we're looking for, but a little old chatterbait fish. It's very calm right now, so I'm wondering if I should toss like a swim jig or a swim bait. But so far, Alex has been doing pretty, pretty solid on the old chatter, so I picked it up again. I tried frogging, tried flipping. No luck yet. Water is 88 degrees, so. We we're thinking the big ones might be a little bit deeper. Alec knows some, some juicy deep spots here. We're gonna try throwing deep cranks and big worms and stuff like that. Go after the the uh, the Nebraska brutes, right? Yup. There's one. <laughs> Swimming it. Swimming the punch rig. How does that work? Oh, we got doubles though. We got doubles though. Double Texas rig fish. Mm -hmm. Still not the size we're looking for. Back to back, squeak, squeak, McGee's here. Decided to pick up the punch rig again and give it another shot. So far, have not found anything of size. Nothing at all, just 
just little guys. We'll, we'll find them though. We're thinking they're in the deep water, either that or we just gotta keep covering water to keep finding them. But this is my little setup here. I've got a one ounce tungsten weight, flipping hook, I think four out flipping hook and some, some pegs and a little creature. But if you guys want cheap tungsten, I will link it down below where I get it from. Uh, again, that's one of my biggest questions that I get is where, do, where is, well, one is, is tungsten worth it? And the answer is yes. And two, where, where is the best place to get it the cheapest? Cause it is extremely, extremely, extremely expensive. I will link it down below where I get my tungsten. Check it out if you guys want some. Let's see if we can catch another fish. There's one. <laughs> Punching. Dude. That's a good one too. A little, I mean, he's better than the rest of them. Yeah. He's about as good as that bigger one you had. Punching. Finally. God dang it, dude. I knew I'd catch a bigger one with punching alec has been kicking my butt with that chatterbait but they're just not they're just not the size we're looking for and this one's not even as big as the ones we'd like but it's definitely better that's two two plus pounder there we go little little punching fish see buddy sick dude finally yep. i wouldn't even call that a punch fish that was like a half flip half punch a little bit of open water it wasn't like i punched through i was just you guys can see what we're fishing here it's just a lot of reeds and right kind of where they lay down, I pitched right in there through there and caught me a, caught me a fish. Ooh. Oh, no, dude. Oh, right there, right there. Eat it. Yep. Yep. Came back for seconds. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Finally finally figuring out these little flip fish oh it's all right i'm counting i'm counting it's on the board you saw it oh that's crazy how does that come undone after i freaking yanked him out of narnia and back I threw it in there and i twitched it a little too soon he swirled on it kind of like a topwater bite and pitched right in there let it sit to the bottom and bam smoked it that was on a little little blue sapphire color tried mixing it up i ran out of the other ones and it uh it worked Oh, heads up. Dude, I got smoked. I saw the bushes moving. Yeah, I got freaking smoked. There he is. Third time's the charm. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Dude, that's a toad. Oh, my. Oh, he was wrapped in the tree. I got him. I got him. It's not that big. It's not that big. He was stuck in the tree. It's a good one. Dude, he ate it three times. There was like a little bush. There we have it, folks. Finally, finally a big one. I'd consider this big in Nebraska. Three, three and a half pounder. It's a solid, solid fish. Caught that on the old punch rig. Didn't really punch anything, but more or less just flipped in there three times and caught it. I'm going to get the release on Shirley here. Bye, Shirley. Woo! Oh, that gets me so excited. What are you throwing, frog? Oh, it's that time, folks. We're going to flip just a little bit longer. You guys can see clouds, clouds rolled in. This entire time, Alec and I have been complaining about how hot it is. Cause it's very hot we're just like drenched in sweat clouds are rolling in though we're thinking that's going to be uh it's gonna be top water time real quick here there are some big fish in here so i'm hoping to throw the old frog the old plop daddy catch the old nebraska brute there's one plopper plopper fish wasn't even looking dude that's a big one that's a good fish i wasn't even looking just slow rolling that thing that's a good fish the old plop daddy strikes again. Woo! That's definitely the biggest of the day. She's pushing four there. That's a good one. Ooh, son of a... You about done did me wrong, Carl. Quit that. There you have it, folks. The old plop daddy done did it. Carl over here tried to get that freaking treble right through my thumb, but quality largemouth. Back in the water they go. Always. Don't keep bass. If you keep bass, I want you to unsubscribe from my channel and never just, I'm not going to acknowledge you. You're just dead to me. Ain't that right? That's right. Come on. There it is. Oh, baby. Threw a fastball right down the middle and I smoked it. It's a big one. Absolute brute. That's why we come here, folks. Boom goes the dynamite. Ain't that right, Bill? Burton, you reckon? There's one. There's one. Get out of there, boy. Get out of there, boy. Woo! Another frogfish. Oh, we found the juice, folks. 
Hell yeah. Oop. He was just a little guy. Oh gosh! What? Dude, that sun gun. Oh god, that's a big one! Oh good lord. You better watch your rod there, bud. What? Oh my god! Dude, that thing looked like you dropped a bowling ball in the water. It choked it too. That was one of the sickest freaking blobs ever. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Hell yeah. Well, we're just we're just about to call it a night. And then Alec pulls that out of nowhere. Absolutely not. That's why we throw topwater frogs, folks, for exciting moments like that. It's just so much fun. Go buy yourself a frog, get yourself a flares frog and flipping stick. Get yourself a bait caster and some 50 to 65 pound braid. And have yourself a hell of a time. He's got it. What? I don't know what I was just doing right there. I did not think that fish had it. Well, all you gotta do is grab a frog and reel it in. You don't hop it like a frog. You just reel it in like a freaking chatterbait and you're good to go. These little guys are so aggressive. Once the sun goes down, they'll hit anything. Right here is where things get interesting. You gotta put the boat on the trailer without getting it stuck, getting my truck stuck or the trailer stuck. So you guys just sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy. I thought it was burly last weekend. Hey! Keep going. That's how you do that. Mission was a success. Time to go home and drink a lot of water, take a shower, go to bed. <laughs>